is Democracy Manifest. So general update about Liquid US lately. So the big, big thing is we've been doing these big Liquid initiatives um, recently. So the two biggest, um, just today, there's a big vote going on in Wisconsin, in Dane County, Wisconsin, centered around this jail, uh, this new jail that's being built that's um, at a cost of $230 million. The proposal is to fund a $230 million jail using taxpayer money. And critics aren't sure that it's the right approach anyway, and especially that price tag for it's only supposed to have a very limited number of people. And so hundreds of people have been organizing using Liquid um, around that to to weigh in that they really want to slow down on this jail and, and pursue alternatives. And... And then likewise, another big item that, that's been going on through Liquid recently has been um, education bills in California. So charter, dealing with charter schools specifically and amendments, calling for amendments to the 1992 California Charter, charter School Act. And that one has been, there's been uh, like nearly 2,200 people or so verified constituents that have weighed in calling for these particular amendments to be made to the act to add in more um, ideas like preventing conflicts of interest and um, allowing for fiscal fiscal uh, impact to be used as a criteria for, for new charter schools and restoring local control around charter schools. So that have, those have been by far the biggest things. There's also this big initiative um, by this group called the Alliance for Retired Americans, but those have been the main ones. And so in general, this is just part of our strategy of helping advocacy organizations um, create landing pages that are really clear about what the particular leg what the problem is and what the particular legislative solution that they're pushing is, and then working with them and making it really easy to, to get their community and grow the community of people that agree with that position and getting all these stances in front of the legislators and to the legislators and, and publicly aggregated and displayed. And so we've had a lot of success with this and a lot of lessons that we've learned from this and it's been really great and we um, wanna continue pursuing this. And at the same time, we've been improving a lot of things um, a little bit more behind the scenes and, and underneath the surface around making the verification system stronger, really developing out the proof of vote system for trustworthy, verifiable voting. Um, that's been developing really nicely. And um, just a number of other things that, that we're excited to get in more people's hands and share sooner. Those are some of the main items. What plans does Liquid US have for the 2020 election cycle? And for people who are thinking about running as Liquid candidates, should they start, you know, working on their campaigns now? And what can they do to prepare for 2020? Yeah, absolutely. So 2020 is fast approaching. Um, candidates are, I mean, it's already heated up quite a bit on the national level, especially with the presidential race, of course. There's 20... Three Democrats, I think, already officially on the ballot. And and even other races as well, people are starting to get into place. And the primaries are usually far ahead of the actual general election, of course. So the sooner the sooner people know and can get started, the better. So if people um, are are excited or interested or considering running as liquid candidate, can't encourage it more highly. Um, super educational experience, super educational for all the people that learn about healthier 21st century democracy, thanks to you. And yeah, reach out. Um, candidate support at liquid US is a good email to reach out to, or you can just generic hi at liquid US and we'll make sure it gets to the right place. But we have a lot of tools and lessons and processes that we wanna help um, make it easy and just best practices and things like that. 
and yeah people are already starting so he did a really exciting event just this past week here in san francisco with a liquid candidate running for u.s congress in california district 12 agatha uh bathelzar so and she's really promising really really strong advocate for for a lot of these ideas and so hopefully there'll be a lot more cool content about that coming soon and yeah um, no time like the present in terms of also becoming a candidate. It's There's aspects of it that are a little scary, but overall incredibly rewarding experience. And you're doing your community a huge uh, service by giving them the opportunity to learn about these ideas and express their interest in these ideas via getting involved with your campaign, donating to the campaign, and voting ultimately for your candidacy. So yeah, the sooner the, sooner the better. Um, reach out we have other videos about what was involved with running as a candidate so check those out and let's do it and could you talk a little bit more about the event that we did at Manny's and what our plans with Manny's are in the future for people who live in the San Francisco Bay Area yeah yeah so we just did this event it was only last week wasn't it it feels like it was so long ago already busy life um, so last week we did this event titled what is the future of democracy? It was, um, at this civic bar here in San Francisco in the mission in San Francisco, uh, this place called Manny's and there were four panelists or a moderator and three panelists, depending on how you count. And, uh, that was myself and Agatha, who we just mentioned and a professor um, David Evan Harris, and then moderated by Josh Crabtron, who works on a lot of this stuff as well. And hopefully we'll have the video for that soon, um, for the full video of that evening, but could not have gone better. It was basically a packed room and people were like squeezing in there, probably 60 or 70 people and lots of really, um, sincere and, and uh, honest dot conversation discussion about democracy in the 21st century and what do we want what are we unhappy with right now what are our concerns and what do promising paths forward look like and um, it was amazing most of the way through the evening someone in the audience was like so how many people here are working on liquid democracy and half dozen of us raised our hands and then they said, and how many people wish they were working on liquid democracy? And like 30 odd people in the audience all raised their hands immediately. It was like a very cool moment. Just all the excitement and enthusiasm was, uh, was really going around in the room. And so that was, so just to speak more broadly about the idea behind the event, basically we've been doing um, all this online uh, tech creation with the platform with liquid us and now content creation with with this media channel with the podcast and, and youtube channel liquid future and we want to also uh foster a lot more in-person conversation and um and and ideally get it all recorded and online so people can can take part even if they're not able to be there physically and so this was in many ways like a uh, first run of of doing an event in a public location like this here in San Francisco and it went off fantastic and, and our hosts are really excited about having us back to do more events and part of the idea I think for future events we're thinking a lot about doing in-person policy debates so focusing specifically on relevant questions either for the city or for in terms of policy that the state's considering or in terms of policy that nationwide is being debated and bringing in um, really knowledgeable people on, on both sides of, of the, that particular issue to, um, to make the strongest case they can and have real debate and also always include audience participation and always make this available to the wider audience online. So we have a number of ideas for topics and stay tuned about that but yeah the basic idea is we just want to foster a lot more deliberation around policy and make it um 
fun and entertaining and easy for people to learn about these policy questions and also to participate in the debate themselves. And this ought to be something that's happening, you know, all over the country and, and, and every, anywhere and everywhere. And so, um, if you, if there are particular topics that you're interested in, or, you know, a particular location also do feel free to reach out. We'd love to help where we can or, or help make that happen. So that's the idea about uh, in-person events.